Today's lesson is about multiples. Our vocabulary word for today is multiple. A multiple of a number is the product of that number and any whole number. Let me help explain this with a picture. If I want to find the multiples of 3, I can use a multiplication chart. So I find 3, there's one at the top and one at the left, and then I can just follow down these columns and rows. So my multiples of 3 would be 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and we could really go on forever. So unlike the factors, when we had to find all of the factors yesterday, there may have only been two or a handful of factors. With multiples, you could really go on forever. So if I told you to find all the multiples of three, you could go the rest of your life, and you'd still never be done with that one problem. So, luckily for you, the instructions say to identify the first five multiples. We won't make you go forever. So, with six, if I'm multiplying the six by any whole number, and I want to find the first five, I'm just going to start with zero. Six times zero is zero. Six times one is six. Six times two is twelve. 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24. So basically you're just skip counting by that number starting with 0. So for 8, my first 5 multiples of 8 would be 8 times 0, which is 0. 8 times 1 is 8. Those first two should always be super easy. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24, and 8 times 4 is 32. So those are my first five multiples. I think you're ready to try two. So here you go. Same instructions. Identify the first five multiples of 3 and then 9. Go ahead and pause, and then we'll check your work. Okay, the first five multiples of 3 are 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. And the first five multiples of 9 are 0, 9, 18, 27, and 36. Okay, here are your problems already that you'll bring in to class tomorrow along with your other notes. So you need to identify the first five multiples of 2, 4, 5, and 7. Thank you for listening, and have a great night.